Hey, hey, y'all. Getting my epoxy ready. I've never mixed this much before at once. So I don't know how this is going to go. But we're going to try it. I'm going to give it just a few more minutes to see if anybody joins us. And then I'll get started. I know it's hard to do a video in the middle of the day because some of y'all work and you don't have the opportunity to watch it. You have to do replay and that's fine too. Say, say hey when you come on so I know somebody's there and that you can hear me and everything looks good as far as position. Joyce, am I in a good spot right here for y'all to see? Can y'all hear me? I see I got some on already. I know you can hear me because I yell. I make sure everybody can hear me. All right, we got some on now. We'll go ahead and get started because I don't want my epoxy to start setting up too soon. So first time I've ever mixed this much, I used, I have four cups here. I wanted to see just how far that would go in these coasters. Um, so we're going to see it. I use the Pro Marine, of course. Everybody knows that from my group. I love Pro Marine. Um, I put in two cups of A and two cups of B, and it was kind of challenging to mix it up just because my cup's so full. Had I gotten a larger container, probably would have worked better. But we got it. We're going to go with it. This is what I'm going to be making today. This is the one that I put the rocks in the middle and then the ink and everything just kind of spread out from around it. Hopefully I can do this one again. I know someone in the group had tried it and said it didn't work for them. So we're just going to, we're going to give it another shot and see what happens. Let me turn these lights on. I forgot to do that. All right. Is that better? Oh, I think so. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start pouring in all this epoxy and see how much of it I spill. And I'm going to try to take it pretty close to the top and just leave enough room to come back and top it off and do a dome on it once it's done. Everybody had asked how much epoxy it takes to do these coasters and I really didn't know. I just mixed some up and went with it. So that's what I'm doing is trying to measure it out for you guys. Oh, I did get that one full. I might have to take a little bit out of that just to be safe. These four cups just might be enough to do all six of these. Looks like it should be. And if I have some left, I got other projects going, so that's not a problem. Oh, I did it again. Too full. All right, so yes, four cups is enough to do all six coasters and have a little bit left over. And I'm going to take some out of a couple of these because it's pretty full. So at least that gives us a, a kind of a general idea of how much it really does take. I just want to take a little bit out of these that are over full. 
because I know that ink and the rocks and stuff are going to take up some of the space, so I do need extra room here. It's Friday, y'all. Yay! Of course, it's Friday for me every day. Sorry, y'all. Huh? Actually, you can probably, let's see what I got here. All right, I still have one cup left. So it's going to be about one and a half cups left. And I mixed four cups. So it's not as much as I thought it would take. I just don't want a huge epoxy mess on my table when I overflow it with the rocks. Okay. Now yeah, let's take a little bit more out of that one. And just a hair more out of that one. have almost two cups left so you could probably get by with mixing up two cups of epoxy for six coasters and these are the larger ones I get um, I get my molds from Amazon for these and I'll post the link when I'm done on what kind I buy so today I'm using the pearl inks they, they are the Tim Holtz brand, or Ranger, whatever you call it. Um, that's what I used on that one that worked so well. But with these, you just have to make sure you shake them up really, really good. And all of these did come from Blingasm. So that's where you can go and get your complete set of these pearl inks. And while you're there, pick up some jacquard the pinata blanco blanco which is the white because this is heavier than the tim holtz brand and it works a lot better for the blooming ink part of it and blingasm does have the white all right let me loosen these up and then we'll get started Now, I am not using the copper color that I have because I really had an issue with it on the other one. So I don't want to mess up this many. And maybe that color just doesn't like what I did with it. I don't know. Because all of the other colors came out perfect. Except for that white. I mean, the copper. All right, I'm gonna hit these just to release some of the bubbles, to remove some of the bubbles and warm the epoxy up. The bubbles in this, when you're doing this ink, is not a big factor because this is alcohol inks. So the alcohol will help um, pop the bubbles in it. So I'm just going to start and just put my dots in here of the ink color and then I'll go back with the white and hit it in the same spots and that's what causes the ink to sink to the bottom. Because if you see here, this is where all the ink settles and the white is what makes it do that. When you put the white in on top of the color it helps it go to the bottom instead of just staying on the top. And then you do end up with a pretty top side as well. And these pearls, these are really shimmery colors. I love these. 
All right, so I'm going to start with some yellow. And there's no pattern here. I do sometimes like to leave the edges with no ink because that will help you see the 3D effect with it. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and put in a few colors and then hit it with the white. It doesn't matter where you put it. You can layer colors on top of each other. The biggest part of it is doing the white. And it only takes one drop on top of your, um, your colors. But if you get more on there, it's not gonna hurt anything, it's fine. And like I said, there's no set pattern. You just go with it. Hi, hey, y'all. Sorry, it's hard for me to see the comments and do this as well, because I don't want my epoxy to start setting up too soon. And this is a really pretty color. It's the smolder. It's almost a greenish pearl. This is beautiful. All right, where'd my white go? There it is. And as a matter of fact, I might step over there and turn that air conditioner off to keep it from blowing on it and causing issues just a second. Okay, and that helps y'all hear me better anyway. And I'm not doing any particular colors. I'm just putting some on here. Mm, I might have to get me a needle on that one. Maybe that got it. Yeah. This blue is really gorgeous. Celest Celestial? I don't know, but it's pretty. And Blingasm does carry the full set of these pearls. And also, I have another tutorial that I'm working on for y'all with Blingasm Glitter. Let me just show y'all real quick. Y'all know it's Breast Cancer Month, so I'm going to use these two colors here. And then I have some of the uh, ribbons. The ribbons did not come from Blingasm, so I'm going to share all of that later as I'm doing it. But my glitter... It is all blingasm. Again, you get three and a half ounces per bag. Um, and it's right around $7, which is a good price. It's all good quality glitter. Every one of them I've used has had good color. It's like a rich, beautiful colors in there. So y'all go check out their, um, their glitter. Y'all need to just check out a lot of stuff. I'm really getting into the Blingasm products. This is pretty too. Enchanted. That's really pretty. And all you do is put, put down your ink, one drop at a time, your colors, and then you come right back over it with the white. Right where you put your colors. This one is tranquil. Whew, yes, beautiful. And you can layer your colors. Um, you know, you don't have to stick to one color in one spot. Just put it on however you want to. And then the main thing again is just following it up with the white. Now, it's up to you how you want to end it. If you want to end it in white or if you want to put an ink on top and let that be your last thing you do. 
but I like to get a little skewer and swirl mine so it's not super important. Now this is a pearl. Um, that's actually the name of it is pearl, the color. I don't know what this is going to do with the white, but I'm going to add it in just for the shimmer. Ooh, I'm starting to see the colors go into the bottom. Very pretty. Oh, that sh oh, y'all, this pearl is beautiful. It's adding a gorgeous shimmer, and it's spreading out. Okay. I wish I could see some of this. Let's see if I have any comments. Yay, happy dance. Yay, happy dance because it's Friday. My granddaughter was using some of this the other day. Playing with it. And I don't think she cleaned off the tops very well. I love that one. Enchanted. Gorgeous. Maybe I shouldn't be leaving them open. I can feel my epoxy starting to heat up. Just a little bit more of this green. And the the glass that I'm using, I just got it at Michael's. It, it's you can use whatever brand you like. Or I know Dollar Tree does carry some. It's not as nice as Michael's, but they do carry it. If you want to just play and practice, that's what I would start with is some from Dollar Tree. And as you can see, I'm trying not to get it all the way up to the, um, the sides. Because like I said, I want to be able to look through it and see the 3D. Now I'm just adding some colors that I really liked a lot. Let's get this dark blue. Well. There we go. Okay, this is probably going to be all I put in here. I'll go back and put one dot of color as my last layer and not put the white on top of that and then that way it will stay to the top what color do I want let's go with enchanted I'm trying to read your comments uh, driving pit and type what kind of countertop <laughs> Joyce believe it or not this stuff that I have on, on my um, work surface is anoleum you can get it at Lowe's and Home Depot by the roll or by the, you know they'll roll off as much as you want and that's what it is epoxy doesn't stick to it so far I've had nothing stick to it so I'm really, really pleased with it. And it's very inexpensive. And like I said, easy to clean. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do with my inks. Let me really quickly put the lids on them so they don't dry out. Cause that is something you have to watch for on your inks. They will dry out if you leave them open. 
So make sure you put the lids on really, really good. And a lid. There it is. Okay. <clears throat> Got all those closed up. Now, all I do for the geode part is take a little bit of it, the glass, and drop it right in the middle. And as it sinks to the bottom, that's where you get some kind of reaction with it and the epoxy. Or inks. I'm not sure what causes it to do that. And we're going to see if I can get it to do it again. And you could probably, you know, put them in different places. There's nothing that says you have to put them right in the middle. I just like the effect that it gave it when I did. I'm going to mix a couple of colors. Now that was something else I did notice. When I was putting in the colors, it goes through the inks, and so the ink does get on some of the, the glass, and it also gives it a nice, pretty, pretty shine and shimmer to it that you can see through the coaster. All right, it looks like it's, look at that. That's awesome. That is so cool. And I think this is what has something to do with it, with the way it sinks. Okay, let me get me a skewer and something to clean the epoxy off of my hands. I'm trying to read your comments as well. Y'all go ahead. It's kind of hard for me to see the comments. But y'all go ahead and leave me questions or whatever, and then I'll come back once I post it to the group, and I'll answer all of your questions and stuff. Okay, I use these really long ones. Um, if I want the pointy end, I just break it off. And then I still have the rest of this that I can break and use as I need to. I'm just trying to pull some of this ink up and push those rocks to the bottom and do a little swirl. You don't want to swirl too much because if you mix the colors up too much, then you'll get the muddy color because even as everything else we do if you mix paints together you get different colors and it's the same with the ink it will do the same thing so you want to just be careful and be mindful of the colors that you're swirling together now I'm kind of pushing my rocks to the bottom a little bit for the ones that didn't sink oh those are gorgeous I hope this works for y'all. I will come back and show you once they're set up what I, what I ended up with. Now all I'm doing, I'm not I'm not wanting to touch the bottom of the coaster. I'm just pushing the rocks down a little bit and swirling the ink that's on top. And I'll probably hit it with the heat gun just to loosen it up a bit. And so you don't want to stir, you just swirl. And it will continue to move once you've done your swirl. It's gonna, the ink's gonna do what it wants to do. 
I just try to help it a little bit. All right, I like that. I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna hit it with my heat gun. Yes, y'all know. <laughs> the ones that's been with me a while, I got to clean as I go. Can't help it. Okay. Hit it with this. Here comes the noise. I see a couple of little stones that didn't sink, so I'm just going to kind of give them a push. But it would still be cool to see those too from both sides. Okay. So, I'm going to end it there, because if I keep messing with it, I'm going to end up with a muddy mess. And that's my hardest part, because I want to come back and adjust everything. So, I pretty much just have to leave the she shed, or I'll just sit here and keep going. <clears throat> but, that's it, y'all. It's, it's easy to do. Don't forget the inks. I did get from Blingasm off of their website, so y'all go check that out. He has the full line of the Pearl Tim Holtz, and he has a complete line of the Jacquard in any color you want. He has it, so y'all go check those out. Get you some, because this is so fun. And I'm going to post a link for you on my mold that I use. And I'll probably go ahead and post a link uh, on Amazon for these rocks as well. Again, you can use them, you know, you can get them from Michaels and you can use your coupons there. So it just depends on, you know, how much they are. But I'll definitely let y'all know what would be the best price, the best place to get them. Okay, so y'all go make a wonderful Friday and a great weekend. I do have some other stuff planned. I'm working on several different things here. Um, that I'm going to be doing lives and stuff and tutorials, show y'all some different things that I've been working on. Look at that pretty pyramid I made. This is so gorgeous. So that, we might have to work on that. I made a, uh, what is she called? A mermaid. And she's got a different color tail from the body. And I made this with glitter and alcohol inks. That is super, super pretty. This one, look at that. This is a, a coral and it is a mold that I have. And I used um, Joyce's glitter from my glitter dealer because I like the chunky that she has. And then I, I've used some alcohol inks from Blingasm as well, right in here. And I just think they're so pretty. I hope y'all can see that. All right, guys. Have a great weekend. If I get something else finished, I'll come post it. We'll do a live again. And I'll keep you updated on these. Thanks for watching.